A new book we want to talk about tonight, covering the corruption of, yes, the Biden family, sharing new insight into a $1.5 billion government-funded payday for a company employing one of the Biden brothers, James Biden, joining the construction firm Hill International back in 2010. Executive vice president he was, despite having no previous experience in construction. But that's not necessary if your name is Biden, it turns out. And by the way, that one and a half billion, that was like a familiar number. It seems to be a favorite number of the Bidens. Uh, Peter Schweitzer's book, The Tales, the Biden name, and uh, proving it uh, lucrative enough to earn Hill International that contract to build 100,000 homes in, guess where? Iraq. That's just a sampler, folks. Our guest, I am pleased to tell you, the author of the new book, entitled Profiles in Corruption, Abuse of Power by America's Progressive Elite. Joining us tonight is Peter Schweitzer, New York Times bestselling author, president of the Government Accountability Institute, Great American, and you've done it again, a blockbuster. Congratulations. Thank you, Lou. Great to be here with you. That number, one and a half billion. <laughs> Bidens love that number, I guess. Why would you not? Uh, particularly if you can just stick it in your pocket uh, at uh, taxpayer expense. Yeah, it's remarkable. I mean, the Biden family, you've got five family members involved. I call them the Biden Five. They're like the Jackson Five, but they don't sing. It's corruption. Uh, and I've never seen this before. You know, we've talked many times, Lou, on your show about corruption involving Democrats, Republicans. Maybe there's one family member. Maybe there's two. I've never found and a couple anyone. of independents. Yeah, 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 well, absolutely. It depends. But I've never run across one that have five. And on top of the fact that there are five involved, it's like a corrupt United Nations. You've got Hunter Biden doing deals in Ukraine, doing deals in China with state actors, corrupt oligarchs. you got the brother James, who's with this construction right. firm that's set up by a family friend. Um, they get the contract to build 100,000 homes in Iraq. They get contracts to do work for the State Department. Then you've got his other brother, Frank, meeting with the Costa Rican president for these energy deals. And, of right. course, he has no background in energy. It just goes on and on and on. It's interesting that the Bidens don't have that requisite uh, expertise, knowledge base. They just, they just have a great last name. Yeah, well, they do, and they seem to have a mid-career change when Joe was vice president. I mean, that's yeah. the, the point that people have to recognize, is this all happened when Joe was vice president. It was not enough, apparently, when he was a U.S. senator. But when you're vice president, you have a lot of pull. You're in charge of U.S. policy, appointed by um, Barack Obama to be in charge of policy in Ukraine and China. So there are deals there for the sun. Uh, you've got the situation uh, in, in Costa Rica where he right. goes down and meets with the Costa Rican president. That's is how these opportunities happen. You had to be asking yourself, how is it that President Obama decided that uh, his vice president would have a portfolio that included Ukraine, China, Costa Rica? I mean, talk about a varied portfolio. Yeah. That's, that's it. Well, and it's remarkable, and I mean, Obama's participation in some of this. I mean, uh, you know, one of the stories in the book, you know, the Biden chapter is 70 pages long. Right. So there's a lot of material on Biden, but you have these two company executives with a company called Startup Health, this investment company. Um, Joe Biden brings them in the Oval Office to meet with Barack Obama. They don't really have a website. They don't really have a business plan. The next day, they're featured in this federal government conference. And then Joe Biden goes and briefs their investors privately over the course of his vice presidency on Obama health care policy. Barack Obama never asked him, and it probably would have been good for him to know that one of the three principals in the firm was married to Joe Biden's daughter. Yeah, it, you, know, you know, it's a close family, and that's, that's, that's something you have to family admire. Family values, family uh, values. Is, and, and speaking of family values, I mean, uh, Bernie Sanders, you yeah. point out. Yeah. Again, I, I'm committed to family values. Right. Old That's Town right. Media, I believe it was. Yes, Old Town Media. I mean, you know, Bernie Sanders has been in public office since the 1980s, a mayor of Burlington. Uh, it started when he wasn't in the Soviet Union. Exactly, when he's not in the Soviet Union. When he takes the job as mayor of Burlington, his, one of the first things he does is he hires his girlfriend, later wife, Jane, puts her on the payroll. The city council says, wait a minute, there's no job there. We haven't authorized this. Bernie says, too bad, I want to do it. It begins there. Then he gets Jane involved in doing media buying for his congressional campaign. Makes probably about $150,000 doing that. The big mystery is 2016. He runs for president, Bernie Sanders. He takes $83 million in the media buy, puts it into a company uh, called Old Town Media that is registered to a residential property in Virginia. It has no website, no company background. 
It's run by two of Jane's friends. So the question is, $83 million in media buys, the media fee for that is about $12 million. Where did that $12 million go and who got it? And how much of it did, did they have to report again? They had to report zero. And, and you know, <laughs> Lou, Jane was asked about this. To their credit, a progressive reporter in Vermont asked Jane Sanders about Old Town Media. You know what her answer was? She hung up the phone. Well, it sounds like... A customary reflex on the part of these people who are profiles in corruption. Uh, by the way, just so you get the feeling, uh, the proper sense of the panorama of corruption in the country, uh, Peter goes through a few familiar names like Kamala Harris, uh, Cory Booker, Elizabeth Warren, uh, Sharon Brown, uh, and Amy uh, Klobuchar, and Eric Garcetti, just to keep the left coast involved and on its uh, on alert. Uh, we recommend the book to you highly. It's a another blockbuster from Peter Schweitzer, who only does blockbusters. Congratulations, sir. Thank you. Great to see you. Great to see you. Thanks so much. <laughs> Caravan.